Why haven't we found it yet? I'm getting very discouraged, I can tell you. I thought Dr. Wen had such promising leads, and with the additions we came up with... We mustn't give up yet, Lily. Perhaps. Oh, why can't we simply pay someone to dig it up? I certainly can't with my tendonitis. And you, no offence, darling, but you're taking too long. I'm trying. Estelle. Oh, sorry. Anyway, you said we couldn't let anyone else in on it. I know what I said. Oh, my. <sighs> Dr. Wen must be right, mustn't he? The great seed absolutely has to be here. Otherwise, how can one explain that cachet of Egyptian artifacts he found here in 1963? Of course it's here. We'll finish off at the site today, then check the maps again tonight. Not me. I can't, I tell you. If we don't find it, I can't carry on one step further. Please don't say that, Lily. Everything's going to be fine. Mm -hmm. Wie drückt sich vor der Arbeit. Is it just me, or are they always here when food's being served? It must be a nice change from roast beef and Yorkshire pudding. I'm sorry, Grace dear, but Estelle and I really must talk alone. You don't mind terribly, do you? Uh, no. Thank you, Grace. I'd rather not. I've heard that shade of red dye can cause permanent optical damage. I'd rather stick my tongue in a light socket. Uh, maybe later. Schön, dann nicht. Was habe ich jetzt eigentlich hier? Um, <lacht> nope. I wrote these coordinates down from the map in Sydney. I should be able to locate any point on this map out in the valley by using these numbers and the coordinate fixing device I got from Mosley. Yeah. Center of Circle. Haben wir schon. Nordöstlicher Arm des Hexagramms. Südwestlicher Arm. Und the side. Die Mitte des Heiligtums auf dem Mount Kadu. Okay. Dann gucken wir uns diese Orte doch mal an. Ah, okay. Der nördliche Arm, der südliche Arm. The side. Aha. Huh? This is the back of Mount Cardew, but I think the actual point of the hexagram is further up that way. Ja gut, da kommen wir jetzt aber nicht durch, ne? Das wird schwierig. Three guesses what it says. S O L in so many words. That's me, the trusty sidekick. Someone's fenced off this whole area. Who bought this property? And why are they so intent on keeping people out? Right! That's barbed wire on top. Someone's fenced off this whole area. There's something stuck to the fence. 
Who are the Magi? Who's leaving these things? Who are the Magi? Who are the Magi? Who's leaving these things? Ich denke, dass es Emilio ist, aber ich kann mich auch irren. Isn't that Chateau de Ceres? Chateau de Ceres's tower overlooks the back of Mont Cardu, the northeast arm of the hexagram. Could it be the third rook? Ja, möglich, keine Ahnung. I don't think I could see that much from here. Eh, na gut, dann nicht. Ähm. Muss ich hier nicht irgendwie noch was... Ah ja, ich komme ja nicht durch. The summit of Mont Cardu is up there somewhere, along with who knows what else, but I can't get to it. There could be a cave entrance up there, but I can't tell from here. The summit of Mont Cardu... Hm, na gut. Dann gehen wir zum nächsten. I think I'm getting close. This mountain range is amazing. Look at all these huge boulders lying around. Yeah? Me and what army? Move mountains. There's enough granite here to rebuild Pittsburgh. What's that? It's a red handkerchief. Didn't Wilkes have one like that? He must have found this spot. Maybe that's why he was killed. Aber dann will ich vielleicht nicht unbedingt hier sein. <laughs> it's a red handkerchief. Didn't Wilkes have one like that? Maybe Wilkes was getting too close. Okay, warte mal. Ich muss doch irgendwelche komischen Koordinaten finden, oder? Wir sind hier. 2, 16, 45, 42, 55, 12. Okay, das muss ich mir versuchen zu merken. Ich habe vergessen, was das war. 2, 16, 42, 42, 55, 12. Ist 
It's right around here, under that pile of rocks. Okay. That pile of rocks wouldn't look just a wee bit artificial, would it? I should go get the shovel. Hopefully, spricht das nicht zusammen über ihr. It's definitely a cave entrance, but it's hard to see how far it goes. Mhm. Mm das mache ich aber nicht alleine. Not another one. Who could know exactly where I'm going? Not even Gabriel knows what I'm doing. Or cares, for that matter. Where was Osiris when the star shone over Bethlehem? <sighs> uh, I think I'd rather wait for Gabriel. It's pretty dark in there. Okay. Oh, Verzeihung. Oh. Äh, muss ich nicht irgendwie hier hin? Well, I guess I should go up there and check it out. Wow, this is... This is really nerve-wracking. I think I'm close. I hope that's not what I think it is. The ones who wove the vine in the Pharaoh's days weave it still. The ones who would steal the sacred wine long ago seek it still. Oh my god! Oh my god, it's talking about the vampires! Oh oh, it's time for gate. Oh, the sign. 2, 19, 39, 42, 56, 6, 19, 39, 42, 42, 56, 56. That's what I have to remember. Marks the spot where the treasure is buried. 
That's the exact center of the Holy of Holies in the Temple of Solomon. But I think the temple is way underground. Na, dann bringt's ja wahrscheinlich auch nichts, wenn ich die Schaufel hole. Weil, wenn es irgendwie in den Katakomben irgendwo ist, dann. I should go get the shovel. Ja, naja, ich weiß ja nicht, ob das was ist. I have to give it a shot. I thought so. If the treasure's down there, it is way down there. This mountain is solid rock. Hmm. Tour Magdala. I wonder if that could be one of the rooks that Riddle talks about. And the tower at Blanchefort must be the other. And Chateau de Serres overlooks the back of Cardu. It's the third rook. Tour Magdala. Mhm, okay. Kann ich mich uh, bei Blanchefort vielleicht nochmal irgendwie umschauen? Und den dritten... Erschbehen. Hey, somebody's parked out by that big orange rock that's off the main road. VDG 945F. Hello, Bukele. Mhm, okay. Ich hätte jetzt Emilio gedacht, weil das ja dieses rote ist, aber na gut. That big orange rock is where I saw the moped parked. Ich dachte ja, dass das diese rote Schlange ist, aber ist halt nur ein so ein Hupsel da. Ist halt keine Schlange. Da hatte ich dann falsch gedacht. Können wir da hin zu diesem roten Dings? Ich weiß halt nicht genau, wo das ist. Ach so, okay. Ist er schon wieder weg, glaube ich. Okay. Pet cemetery? I don't think so. Der hat was versteckt. 
Ich glaube, ich war yep. was. Time for some elbow grease. Larry's manuscript. Why am I not surprised? And it still has its plastic cover, too. That should give us a few opportunities. Hmm, kann ich da von Fingerabdrücke nehmen? Ich meine, ich weiß ja, wer das alles an den Händen hatte, eigentlich, glaube ich, aber. Sicher ist vielleicht doch sicher. Aha. I got one. Aha. There's one print. There's a second print. Three prints. Well, I think that's all of them. Okay, dann können wir das in die Datenbank einspeisen und mal schauen, wer es war. Aber ich glaube, ich weiß, wer es war. Zuerst hat Mosley das geklaut, dann hat Madeleine das von ihm geklaut und dann hat Kelly das von ihr geklaut. Ähm Will ich jetzt direkt zu Sydney? Ich glaube, ich werde noch mal alle Maps abklappern und gucken, ob ich noch was finde. Ansonsten würde ich, glaube ich, danach ähm, ja, die, die Fingerbrücke einscannen. It's an empty water bottle. Oh, Lady Howard is a slave driver. I'd hate to be in Estelle's position. Hey, wait a minute. <laughs> you are, honey, you are. Lady Howard isn't actually doing much of anything. Finding anything, Estelle? Not yet. How'd you guys pick this spot anyway? Out of the mouths of babes. It's a perfectly sound analysis. Quite complicated to explain. Uh, of course, we can't take credit. Dr. Wen. Well, let's hope Dr. Wen isn't Wong. <laughs> Dr. Wen, huh? He needs to get a computer. <laughs> Please, dear. My life is difficult enough. Difficult, ja. Ich sehe das. Ich sehe das schon. Dann sag ich mal Tschüss, ne?
It's Prince James's car. We sure didn't expect him to show up. That... Uh, that's Larry Sinclair's car. He must be visiting Prince James. <sighs> I can't see into it from here. Are those... burning hearts? Ugh. I can't see into it. Madeleine. I'd rather not. I've heard that shade of red dye can cause permanent optical damage. Well, well, well. Looking for fresh meat? Oh, I thought you were somebody. It's quite a drop, isn't it? If you're afraid of heights, Petite, you shouldn't climb so high. Well, I guess you wouldn't have to worry much about heights, would you? I don't worry about anything. Where are the boys, by the way? They're around? Then I'm sure they'll find me. Mm-hmm. Wo guckt sie jetzt hin? Irgendwo hier, glaube ich, ne? Ja. Keine Ahnung. Nö. Na dann, nö. Au revoir. werde ich mal nach oben gehen und die Fingerbrücke einscannen, glaube ich. Je regrette. The maid, she gets no answer when she knocks. Monsieur Knight must be out. Merci beaucoup. I'll try again later. Grace! James, hello. It's nice to see you again. I was trying to find Gabriel. Um, he's out in the valley, I think, working on the case. Has he found anything? I think so, but he better tell you himself. I, I see, all right. I'm staying at the Villa Bethania. Some people were kind enough to offer it. W will you ask him to come by as soon as he gets back? Of course. Grace, thank you. Hello, Mr. Baza. Have you been out today? Oh, here and there, Ms. Nakamura. Here and there. Mm-hmm. Jean, I've been working on the location of the treasure. Do you have any insight? Oui, mademoiselle. Get a life. Okay. Thanks. Hmm. Hmm, okay. Dann Fingerabdrücke.
Working. Bukele, the sneak. Aber den habe ich ja eigentlich schon. Egal. Working. Aha, uh -huh. Madeline had her hands on the manuscript. Working. Mosley. Gabriel was right. Mm -hmm. I've only got one more stanza, Capricorn. I am aware of the scent of the perfume which impregnates the sepulchre of the one I must release. Cursing the profane in their ashes and those who follow their ways, I returned from the darkness while making a gesture of horror at the abyss into which I had plunged. Here is the proof that I knew the secret seal of Solomon and had visited the secret places of the queen who watches over the king. They must be talking about going down into the cave. Take heed, my friend. Do not add or take away one iota. Think and think again. The base lead of my words may contain the purest gold. Let he who has the understanding use it with wisdom. Hello? Hey, Mose. You're back. Yep. Gabriel and I... <laughs> we had it out. You did? Uh-huh. Guess my little secret is, uh... Out in the open now. Huh. Is Gabriel here? I've had some real breakthroughs with Sydney. Yeah, he wanted me to come get you. He's holding a meeting in the dining room. A meeting? Well, this ought to be interesting. Aber wie es weitergeht, das seht ihr erst beim nächsten Mal. Ich bedanke mich fürs Zuschauen. Bis zum nächsten Mal. Tschö, grü. What's up? Just a minute, Gracie. Why don't you take a seat? All right. Fun time's over. I want to know what's going on, and I want to know now. I have no idea what you mean. No, I. Then let me give you a clue. Earlier today, I had a certain unpublished manuscript in my room. Someone took that manuscript, and that someone was... Mosley. Shortly afterwards, it was stolen from the first thief by... Madeline Boothane. The second thief couldn't hold on to it either. It was stolen for the third time by... Victorio Buccelli. 
and the third thief disposed of it by burying it. Really? Yep. But this is slanderous. You cannot prove a word. Uh, yeah. He can prove it. Every one of you left prints. Santacello. Merde. I admit it. I did take the manuscript. But I didn't do it for my own personal gain or anything. I'm, uh... <clears throat> I'm CIA. Mm -hmm. Aha! That explains it. Outrageous! God, Mose. Congrats. Thanks. Mademoiselle Boothane, what's your excuse? I do not know what you mean. Don't you? Let's consider the fact that you have way too much equipment for a tour guide. But I am technically minded. And lethal. My guess is French Internal Secret Service. You are much too smart for your own good. Oh, and you, Signore? Or should I call you Father? It is not illegal for a priest to travel without a collar. Oh, but you're not just a priest, are you? You came on a train from Rome, yet you lied. You said it was Naples. Why tell such a pointless fabrication unless you were hiding something? Like the fact that you're with the Vatican. That is not a crime either. But stealing manuscripts is. Perhaps it is time for you to reveal your secrets, Gabriel. Sure. I'm a private investigator. I'm here about the kidnapping of Prince James of Albany's infant son. James Stewart's son has been kidnapped? When did this happen? You really didn't know? Either of you? No. Certamente no. I came only to report on any activity in the area. The Vatican feels that there are certain uh, subversive parties who are trying to fabricate stories. Perhaps even go so far as to, to stage certain finds. Plant material. Naturally, the church is anxious that anything of the sort be prevented and exposed. Perhaps you are right, Signore, but we believe that there is something buried near Rennes le Chateau. That's why you were given this assignment? I have been watching Rennes le Chateau for a few years now. There are certain political interests involved, interests which might not be working for the long-term stability of the present French government. Besides, if there is an archaeological discovery to be made here, such findings should be controlled by the French authorities. We want to make sure nothing gets smuggled out without our knowing. I thought you needed excavation permits to do any serious digging. Hypothetically, but several parties have applied for permits. We can only deny them for so long. Mose? The CIA thinks there's something going on over here with the Freemasons, the Priory, and the Knights of Malta. You name it. We've got to make sure our interests are being protected. You know, the good old U.S. of A. Well, they, uh, they sent me on a tour as a kind of an audition, I guess. They didn't want anybody with legit CIA credentials. You know, anyone who could be traced. But I'll probably be starting full-time when I get back. And the digging, monsieur? Oh, intelligence got that tip from somewhere. I was uh, just supposed to, you know, check it out. So it was the CIA who infiltrated our computer system. <laughs> we thought it was the priori. It is not the first theory we have had, I am afraid. Our cipher experts work on it when they can. And it appears this was another failed attempt. Right, monsieur? I sure didn't find anything. And now we can go, Yes. I assume you have not found your kidnapper among us? Doesn't look it. You were very masterful. But, uh, you have not gotten everything from me yet. Perhaps you should come by my room and try a little harder, hmm? And I always thought the idea of chastity belts was cruel and sexist. I finally get it. <laughs> I doubt they invented one strong enough for Madeline. Thanks for finding the manuscript. Where was it? Bukele buried it out in the valley. I saw his moped from Blanchefort. Good job, Grace. As usual. Prince James is at the Villa Bethania. He wants to see you. I bet. And there's some real progress on the treasure. With Sydney, I was able to... I'll, uh, come up later, okay? <laughs> Suit yourself.
Ich glaube, dann werde ich jetzt erstmal den Prinzen besuchen gehen. That must be Prince James's car. Larry's here. I do appreciate your returning the manuscript, Mr. Knight. If I'd known what Mr. Sinclair here was up to, I wouldn't have taken it in the first place. <laughs> well, what's done is done. But I think it's time we had a serious conversation. Absolutely. Ja, das denke ich auch. Do you consider yourself to be a bloodline descendant, Prince James? Well, it may sound foolish to you, but a belief in our lineage and the responsibility that it brings has been the motivation behind everything the Stuarts have done for centuries. You see, we take our heritage very seriously. Does the grapevine motif mean anything to you? Viticulture in general? Yes. The wine of communion represents the blood of Jesus, and the grape represents his body. And the grapevine, in some circles, represents the disposony, the house of David. Uh, you have heard Jesus called the fruit of David, I assume. Of course. Where did you see such a motif, Mr. Knight? Oh, it's, uh, it's in the church. So, you think the kidnapping is a response to Sinclair's manuscript, to its positioning you as the head of the bloodline? It's not just the manuscript, but... but... yes. Have you received any demands from the kidnappers, or...? No. Look, I'm willing to give up my claim forever, if that's what they want, as long as my son is safe. But we don't even know who to contact to make such a concession. The Priory swears they're not responsible, and no one else has come forward. My God, I'm at the end of my rope. Perhaps it's not political. If I let myself even consider that it might be the, the night visitors, I can't imagine what they would want with... with... <laughs> I'm sorry. I know how awful this is. What are these negotiations between the Freemasons and the Priory about? Because of our common heritage, there's certain wisdom and property that's shared. And now that the dispute over the bloodline heir is coming to a head, these things must be settled. What kind of property do the Freemasons have? We have a few of the treasures that have always been sacred to the descendants of Moses. Like what? The Ark of the Covenant? Something like that? I'm not at liberty to say, but the bloodline treasures are dispersed. Whoever takes the mantle, in the end, will want them. All of them. Hmm. What about the Priory? What do they have that you want? The Priory controls the treasure the Templars couldn't take with them to Scotland because it was embedded in the very landscape. The treasure of Rennes-le-Chateau? Yes, but they're not to touch it until we've agreed on a treaty. You see, we have things they want, too. You're trying to get permits to excavate out here, aren't you? I don't know where you heard such a thing. But I admit we have been hedging our bets, in case negotiations go badly. What about my son, Mr. Knight? I'm willing to tell you certain things, but please, have you learned anything new? I've narrowed it down to a few suspects. In fact, I was going to follow up on that right now. Very well. Mesme and I will continue our own efforts. We'll see you back here this evening, then. Absolutely. And, uh, try not to worry. I do appreciate your tenaciousness, Mr. Knight. Yeah? I've had shots for that, but oh, never mind. Um, I'll see you. 
what an extraordinary man.